लास्ट वन यू राइट डाउन इज थर्मोसेटिंग पॉलिमर्स द फोर्थ टाइप थर्मोसेटिंग पॉलिमर्स Write down. These are semi-fluid substance. These are semi-fluid substance with low molecular weight. Which, when heated, which when heated undergo a change in co chemical composition okay semi fluid substance with low molecular weight which when heated undergo a change in chemical composition to give a hard and insoluble mass hard and insoluble mass insoluble mass the hardness is because of extensive cross linking is because of extensive cross linking okay so cross linking is again that's, a, that's the same thing we have a bond between the two layer okay so when you heat this chemical change takes place and cross linking occurs and hence it becomes hard okay so these are the four different these are the four different types of polymers we have and this classification is based upon the forces involved in it okay right next you see heading you write down rubber classification is this is done next is rubber okay there are two types of rubber we have one is natural other one is synthetic okay so natural rubber write down two types of rubber we have natural and synthetic rubber natural and synthetic rubber natural rubber are those which are available in nature available in nature okay available in nature and it is obtained from rubber tree rubber tree and from this we'll get a material we call it as latex material you must have heard about it latex material and from this we obtain rubber okay so it is available in nature basically okay synthetic rubbers are what these are man made synthetic rubbers are man made the example of natural rubber is natural rubber the one example we have is polyisoprene polyisoprene okay polyisoprene what is the monomer of this can you tell me 
Isoprene. Isoprene. The structure of isoprene is what? CH2 double bond C, single bond CH3, CH double bond CH2. This is isoprene. And when this goes under polymerization, it forms polyisoprene. Polyisoprene, the structure is this. CH2, C double bond, CH, CH3, CH2, and the open end inside. And Okay. This actually you can understand by free radical mechanism. This bond pair comes over here. This goes here. This comes over here. This goes here. So this and this forms a double bond here. And this is then open. And we have this side. So this is the repeating unit. Okay. Now, can you tell me, do uh, this molecule, uh, does this molecule show GI, geometrical isomerism? Yes or no? Yes. How? Because I, I don't know. It's like the groups are what all is, different. No, what is the uh, you know condition for a double bond to show geometrical isomerism? There's a condition. Okay. And what is that condition? If you have C double bond C and both the carbon has two different group attached means the group attached at each carbon atom must be different then across this double bond we have two isomer possible cis and trans okay this is the condition of double bond to show gi we can have a b c d also but we cannot have a a here that is not possible this two must be different this two must be different. That is what we have here. You see, this is CS3. And obviously this is a different group. It is not CS3. And this carbon has one hydrogen and one different group. So across this double bond, we can show, we can say that there is GI possible, geometrical isomerism possible. So it has two form here. One is cis, other one is trans. The cis form of this is soft in nature and the trans one is comparatively hard. The cis form of this molecule only we use in rubber. Okay. This is only used in rubber. And we call it as heavy rubber. heavy rubber okay a transform is hard in nature this we do not use in a rubber and we call it as gatta parcha g u double t a must remember this name g u double t a p r c h a okay so polyisoprene is this the cis form of polyisomerism sorry polyisoprene the cis form of this is the natural rubber. Done. Finish. Yes, sir. sir. Okay. Synthetic rubber, man made rubber, there are many examples. The second one you write down. Synthetic rubber. Okay. 
मैन मेड ओके सो द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस इज ब्यूटा डाइन रबर ब्यूटा डाइन रबर ब्यूटाडाइन इज द मोनोमर एंड इट्स इट्स स्ट्रक्चर इज वॉट सी एच टू डबल बॉन्ड सी एच सिंगल बॉन्ड सी एच डबल बॉन्ड सी एच टू एंड वेन यू डू द पॉलिमराइजेशन ऑफ इट यूल गेट सी एच टू सी एच डबल बॉन्ड सी एच this is a polymer of this okay and this we call it as polybutadiene polybutadiene okay now the another example of this is neoprene neoprene and the monomer of this neoprene is chloroprene the structure is ch double bond ccl ch double bond ch2 the name of this compound is chloroprene okay and when you do the polymerization of it you'll get again the similar way ch2 ch double bond ch ch2 we have chlorine here and this is n times <clears throat> the name of this one is since it is chloroprene so this one is polychloroprene polychloroprene which we also call it as neoprene okay then can you go to the next page yes sir third example third one we have styrene butadiene rubber styrene butadiene rubber can you tell me the monomer of this hmm yeah what happened monomer is what monomer is styrene and butadiene styrene butadiene rubber we also write it as sbr in short monomers are what one of the monomer is styrene and we know the structure of styrene we have done already ch2 double bond ch and here we have a benzene ring this is styrene and this combines with butadiene butadiene is this ch2 double bond ch single bond ch double bond ch2 okay this we take around 25% in the mixture and this will be 75% in the mixture okay and then it forms under polymerization it forms ch2 ch CH two, CH double bond, CH single bond, CH two.
this is the molecule we get we also call it as actually when you heat this we use sodium as a catalyst here any catalyst in this process and that is why this molecule is also known as buna s buna s this bu stands for butadiene S stands for styrene and Na is the catalyst that is sodium. That's why we call it as Buna S. So the monomer of Buna S is what? Styrene and butadiene. Catalyst is sodium. Okay. A structure is this. Done. Yes, sir. The fourth one we have a cryonitrile and butadiene rubber. So, what is the monomer of this? A cryonitrile. And butadiene. The structure of a cryonitrile is what? CH2, double bond CH, and here we have CN plus butadiene is CH2, double bond CH, single bond CH, double bond CH2. Heat this in presence of sodium catalyst. The structure is CH2, CH. CN, CH2, CH double bond CH, single bond CH2, and that is what we get. And we also call it as Buna N, butadiene, sodium, nitrile, acrylonitrile. 